let me be real with you. <laughs> and they never see anything. Drop it and say, my enemy have not yet seen nothing. Yes. Because those who expect you to cry, they are now what about to cry or cry. Drop it. Do and say those who want me to fail, they are about to do or to fail. Those who expect me to lose, they are going to lose. Let me be real with you, choosing your enemies have not seen nothing. They have not seen nothing. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's about to hit them. That all that they are having in their mind is about to befell them. All that they hope, all that they were thinking, the negative that they have towards you is about to befell them. Yes, your enemies, you know, the Bible say they run it when no man is pursuing. This is the season. This is the season that they will never be at peace within themselves. I don't care who they call themselves. I don't care the name they bear. Your enemies have not seen nothing. They thought they can mess up with you or they can gather them up against you. They have not seen nothing. They will be exposed. What they are really going to go through in this season, what they are going to face, how God is going to make life miserable for them, because the truth is that their own hope, their own mission was to crumble your joy, crumble your growth, crumble your happiness, crumble your sources, crumble everything that consign you. Their hope and their faith is to make sure you never succeed. But let me be real with you. They have touched the day of a lion. Yes, drop it and say, my enemies have touched the day of a lion. It's over for them. They can't mess up with the chosen ones and still be expecting to live good. They can't mess up with a nice person, a good person, and still be hoping to live fine. So let me be real with you. Your enemies are about to face judgment. Yes, the worst is about to befell them. You know, when King Saul was plotting evil on David, King Saul thought nothing would happen. When King Saul was, you know, arranging for downfall of David, he thought nothing would happen. When King Saul was, you know, plotting and doing everything, all the mindset of King Saul is that he will accurately go free. He will go unpunished. He will go untouched. He is like untouchable. He is like unmestable. But trust me, it's about to hit them that the same, you know, it, it, it will just be like a firm that everything within them will crumble. They will watch you growing. They will watch you succeeding. They will watch life treating you better. That their own life, they will be, you know, even in their dream, they will be running. Even in their dream, they will not have peace. Yes, drop it and say, there is no peace for my enemy. There is no peace for the wicked. Because they see you, you know, laboring every day. They see you working hard every day. They see, they know indeed that you are not playing with your life. Because they themselves could do better. They can even become more better than you. If they put in work, they can even become more successful than you if they put in work. Rather, they prefer to be plotting on how to destroy others, sabotage the life of people, make life miserable. They don't want nobody to come out. But let me be real with you. It is over for them. It is over. Because whatsoever a man sow, the same they shall reap. Drop it and say, you my enemy, it is now you will know what that whatsoever a man so wet, whatsoever human being so wet, that is in their shari. Because they are about to reap it. It's not because we are wishing them evil. It's not because we are wishing them failure. It's because whatsoever they sow on you, that is what they are about to reap. Double for what they did. Remember blessed.